my first prayers will be for you and Sri Lanka. We are here. Stay strong. Sri Lanka now and the desperate economic. There is trouble in the island paradise. There is Sri Lanka lost well over 300,000 of its workforce in 20. Oh, Sri Lanka is currently experiencing its tragic explosions that are taking place in churches and hotels around Sri Lanka. 2019, that's when Sri Lanka was at the height of tourism. And when I saw that video, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. This means so much to people in the island right now. probably wondering why I'm wearing the same thing as I was wearing yesterday. We just got ironed, so we look good. And she insisted, <laughs> she's, she was like very clear that we have to do a shot where I wear the same thing I was on the airport. But it's not my idea. No, it was. No, it wasn't. Whose idea was it? Behind you. <laughs> See, if you notice for the videos, it's mainly people telling me what to do. I'm like the guinea pig of the team. Oh, oh, I give up. Ayubo one, Sri Lanka! First thing I want to see is the beach. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Shukran. Here we go. Oh! Let's do this. Just got a couple of bites. Hey! Where? Airport, Dubai. Oh, really? Yeah. We got to take a picture today. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, look at that ocean! This is how we begin our journey to show you the wonders and the beauty that is Sri Lanka. SubhanAllah, I don't know, there's stuff about a location that it brings you peace. I just already feel peaceful. Shop www.peaceful.com. Salama Skincare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we did. You know, <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh. 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 No, no, okay. No, no bite? No bite. This is what we do for I'm the views. I have an intense fear of snakes, and I'm doing this for the subscribers. For the, whoo! If you're watching the video at this point, like, share, and subscribe, smash that notification bell. Oh, hey, it's, it's kind. Watch me get really kind with it, and I was like, <laughs> So you're all probably wondering who this is. This is Rosaina, who within, it, she is a superstar. We gave her one day, we're like, we're going to Sri Lanka, do you want to come? She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so when do you want to go? Do you want to go like in a few months? Yeah, she's like, she's like, August, September, there's this festival. And we're like, uh, well, we're really thinking in two Tomorrow. days. <laughs> now let me try and get a tuk-tuk. Sir? The streets are very clean. Yes, very clean. Sri Lanka is a beautiful and clean island. It is. I agree. Are we here? Thank you, boss, and thank you for the free ride. No problem. <laughs> yeah. We are on the main street of Peta Market, yes. the beating heart the beating of the Sri Lankan economy. economy. And how important is this market or its significance to the economy of Colombo and Sri Lanka? Okay, so if this place is shut, that means Sri Lanka is shut. Sri Lanka is the most beautiful country people called a heaven of the world and that's why the British named the Ceylon. You can enjoy with some lovely foods and lovely people. This is the official spokesperson <laughs> for Sri Lanka. Yeah! Has to be, yeah, bro. Like I'm seeing this market is, is kind of packed right now. Yeah. Has it ever shut down? Yes, it's happened twice now. Once during COVID and once during the recent political unrest. We have been through a lot as a country throughout our history, but we're still here. We're still standing. Still strong. Yep. I tracked you down to come and give you this. You tracked me down? Yes. He tracked me down? I've been following your stories and I wanted to come and give you How this. How did you know we were here? Through your story, so I knew you were there. Then I put a round and I came there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Red Mosque yeah. uh, and we're going to be learning all about this. I just need to get changed. Yes. So what we're going to do is a really cool, we do these cool transitions in our videos. So 
Uh, can, you just need to get ready. Right, are we good? So we're going to transition into wearing the traditional Sri Lanka clothes in one, two, three. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah? Because in the transition, I want it to like sort of go and like I'm in the clothes, I've changed and stuff. How do I look? How much out of 10? Always 10. 10? Always, Always 10. <laughs> Thank you. Why should people visit Sri Lanka? Because it's the people, the people definitely. We are also known as the Pearl of Indian Ocean. And what is the thing about Sri Lanka that makes you so proud? So we have so many cultures, not only Muslims. We have Sinhalese, Christians, Tamils, Hindus. They have faith on God, each and every religion. They believe their gods and especially we are very united as a country. Respect. Love it. God bless you all. Man. Salam boss. How are you? Ah, I know you are. See, everyone's good, and then when the camera's on them, that's when they get the issue. Now we go into the red mosque. Now this is a symbolic mosque, huh? The entrance is from the other side. Ah, okay. Uh, but Ahmed said that he would open the door for us. Open the door? <laughs> oh, your visitors too? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like talking to them. I'm like, please open the door, please. And they're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> We're visitors here. <laughs> All right, let's go from it's, the other it's side. It's much more grand. From ah, the okay. Side. Ah, so it's a better shot. See, even though it is a bit getting a bit warmer here in Sri Lanka, there's like a beautiful breeze. That's because you're also wearing a sarong. That's now. amazing and refreshing. <laughs> All right. Well, wow. So we're now in front of the Red Mosque and it is one of the oldest mosques in Colombo, in Sri Lanka itself. It's symbolic because it brings communities together, whether that's members of the Muslim community or members of the community around here in general. It is a symbol of unity, it is a symbol of peace, it is a symbol of tolerance, it is a symbol of love for each other. We're waiting for the Asr prayers. After we finish praying, we're gonna open up the mosque and go we'll show you around and apparently when you go and look at it from upstairs and down, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah bismillah. So apparently we're going up where the view is beautiful. These are, uh, take some work to get up here. <laughs> oh, mashallah. So this is the main prayer area. Huh? It is beautiful. What's the history of this mosque? Why is it so symbolic? So this was actually built by the Indians, Indian businessmen who came to Peta. Okay. So it was first built by them and then later it was renovated. 1908, huh? Yeah. And, and did they just open this during Eid and stuff? or yes, so Yeah. Normally for Ramadan, so we serve about 1,000, 1,500 people okay. uh, for breaking fast. That is okay. iftar. So they all gather here and we serve the food and all of them have uh, iftar here. And is everyone welcome for the iftar everybody or just welcome. Muslims? No, no. everybody is welcome. So you have all different religions in the mosque all during iftar? Yes. That's beautiful, man. Mashallah. All right, so we're going for a bit of a walk. <laughs> you didn't say cardio would be involved in this. <laughs> and Friday, this, all these floors are filled? Yeah. Mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> we're struggling here, sir. <laughs> I didn't know. So started working out. I, d I did, but not like this. <laughs> Stair workouts are hard. Oh, wow. And here we get a view. The climb was worth it. It was worth. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Look there's the Lotus Tower. Two of the things that you're seeing that we can see on top of this mosque, obviously you're seeing container ships, but like most critical things for this country were shut down during COVID. Tourism and trade. I'm curious, like with, everything was just shut down. And when I asked what they were doing to get through it, the answer is they came together they shared what was amongst them and they got through it. You can do whatever you want, but we're still standing and we're still here. Pillows. Okay. Pillows and we're here to have the most iconic street food from Kalava, Sri Lanka. I literally have no idea where we're going, what we're doing. Well, let me wash my hands first. It could be a rice dish, it could be a sandwich. And, and FYI, if this is not an epic dish in Sri Lanka, don't come at me. All right, I, it's not like I know. Like she was the one who brought us here. I was telling everyone that they should come at you, not at me. Right. I would say confidently that this is the only dish that every community comes together because we all love this. This is our favorite, favorite street food dish. 
Ever. Ever. Ever? Alright, uh, this, this is the third time yeah. she's doing the intro. <laughs> she's like, it was so unceremonious. Alright, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> no, what is this? It's, I, I don't... It's a, it looks like a mixture of vegetables. Is there any chicken in it? Yes. What is it? It is the kotu roti. It is roti? Yeah. Kotu roti. Let's like say they prepared and cooked the roti. Then they've like fried and kept and cooked the chicken. Okay. Then they stir fry. They cut the roti into pieces. And then they put roast chicken in it, vegetables in it, stir fry. They can put add cheese in it. You can add gravy in it. You can add whatever you desire. Wow. Bismillah. Like I love roti. I love chicken. I love spicy. I love this dish. I believe you. Go to roti. You come to Sri Lanka, you try this dish, thank us later. Now we eat. <laughs> <laughs> that was legit. The kotu roti is gone up to my top five favorite foods. So we're going now to Pudukare, which is the road for food. Yeah, street food. Street food. Yeah. So after a long day tour in Colombo, I wanted a refreshing, authentic Sri Lankan drink. So naturally, I came to Dubai Juicy. <laughs> yes. That was a joke, obviously. But we're driving by, because we're going to be doing some food tour around here. And uh, the food tour comes at night. But I saw this and I'm like, got to try it. Got to try it. This is the Dubai Juicy from Dubai Juicy. Tastes a little bit of difference. Good boss. Good, mashallah. Thank you, Yaqi. Thank you. So I can definitely tell why this is night vibes. It's definitely giving me the, the night vibe type of food. You know, you got your shawarma. Hey, Sri Lanka kai. Here, buddy. Here. Another um, iconic dish from Sri Lanka that you have to try when you're here. And what is it? It is made out of rice flour, right? And then it's like it's like a crispy gray pancake, taco, all mixed put it together. So we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna wait for our hopper. We're gonna try it and we're gonna indulge in the Sri Lankan delicacies. All right, we're gonna have our first sip of Sri Lankan tea. Bismillah. Oh, this is OG. Sri Lankan tea. That's a tea out of tea from me. <laughs> Very good flavor. <flavorful. laughs> My jokes are so bad. So now we're about to have a bit of hopper. Hopper. <laughs> I love how it's like not too sweet, mm. but it's got the, just the right amount of sweetness. Ooh, wait, 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 Look at that. That looks legit. Here we go. <laughs> Mayo? Oh, give us the vibe, bro. The sauce mate. <laughs> sauce mate. It just, it adds, oh, oh. So I want to keep it neat, so I'm going to use a knife and fork to be able to get everything yeah. that comes with it. Because if I pick that up, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> we didn't get a knife and fork, but we got a spoon and a spoon. We're going to attempt to break a little piece of this. Ah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you can cut it up. <laughs> the beauty of filming. As soon as you're about to get to the good part, the sounds just come out of nowhere. Bismillah. This is definitely... Oh. Superman. Ah! Delicious sandwich. Cheat day worthy. It's on my cheat day list. The youth of Sri Lanka are eating well. Thank you so much to the Epi Corner team. You guys are amazing. Man. I'm exhausted from like a whole day of filming. But I'm just so like happy. Alhamdulillah, man. That's all I can say. Alhamdulillah. Do you hear that? Where's Salama? <sighs> I told you it was going to be a cool closing. You're probably wondering how the camera's moving. It's because Dumbo came in before me and then waited for me to come in and then we did the shot. But I wanted to add the video here because it's like 
quiet and I can reflect on the first day here. And I have never in my life felt such a warm welcome and I am overwhelmed with joy and with love. And when I was asking people, why should people from around the world come and visit Sri Lanka? They said the hospitality. They said the welcoming nature of the people. And I swear to you, if you experience 1% of what I felt today, you will feel a sense of love that you could only feel when you're at home. And I think that's what makes this country truly special. I'm not going to say much love, God bless, because the video is not over. See you in the morning. Hey, Assalamu Alaikum everyone. Good morning. It is 6... 40. And we are going to Candy at 6.40 in the morning because it's important to see a country at 6.40 in the morning. <laughs> Today we are going for nature. We're going to show you the wonders of Sri Lanka, the beautiful nature of Sri Lanka. And one of the best ways to do that is via the train from Colombo to Kandy. It is one of the most beautiful and scenic train rides, and I cannot wait to get there. All right, here we are, train. Wow, the train, there are people awake. This yeah. is Anderson. Uh, Anderson is a Sri Lankan-based creator. Comedy. Yeah. We are on our train and we are heading out. I had to make it more dramatic, even though we were walking very slowly. Yeah. Can I ask, where are people going? Because I see a lot of families on the train. And candy. Everyone's going to Candy? Oh, this is a one stop, one yeah. stop. Yes, yes, yes. This only goes to Candy. So how much was the ticket in dollars? It's one dollar now, then it's five dollars. Yeah. So around five dollars for a three and a half hour train ticket. Update, the train has jumped the track and we are going to be taking a... Adventure. Adventure. This is, this is what making these videos are all about. Yeah. We are, I'm just sorry, I'm, I'm still waking up. Um, ugh, coffee. Um, okay, so trains have jumped the track and we're getting off the train now and we're going to take a taxi bus. Anything that will get us to our Anything on wheels or legs <laughs> that will take us from here to Candy. The track just jumped because it got excited. Because Khalid is here. Who's that? Was that Anderson? Anderson? Yeah. Again? With the same joke? <laughs> you know, whenever something happens that feels like annoying or you're late or something delayed you, that's part of Allah's plan. Why? Because maybe, maybe if I got somewhere at some point in time, there might have been something worse that would have happened than the delay. Whenever an opportunity comes that I don't get, I always view it as Allah's protecting. That wasn't meant for me. We are on the road to Candy! Yay! Let's go! We have reached Candy, and already I can tell you the weather is cooler. We are in nature. Uh, I think the temperatures are on. Feels like a good 24 degrees. So now we are headed to Dalida Maligawa, which is a center of the Buddhist community in Sri Lanka. It's the major place. And this was a palace that was turned into a temple. All the major Buddhist festivities happen here. So one of the things that you'll notice in Kandy is the architecture. So if you look over there, you see there was a lot of influence here from the Dutch and the British during colonization. So you see a lot of the architecture around Kandy. Now why were they here? Because just being here, I can understand. They were here because the temperature was really beautiful. 
It was close to all the tea plantations for trade. So they all wanted to live here. This was the optimal place to live. You could tell straight away that this was a palace. There's like no doubt about that. It's got that royal feeling about it. And now we're gonna go inside to see how it was converted into a place of worship for the Buddhist community. So where we're going to now is where the original documentation of Buddhism lives. We weren't allowed to film inside, but essentially what we saw was, um, think about it as a library and a place of worship in one. You had the documents of the history of Buddhism there, and then you had a statue of Lord Buddha and flowers where people would come to give their contributions to the Lord Buddha and pay their respects. So this temple is also called the Temple of Tooth Relic. The tooth of Lord Buddha resides here. And that is the prince and the princess there that brought the tooth here to its home. So we're in the area where the tooth is kept and it's held behind that door. Then within that door, it's held in that casket and it is opened to the public once every five years. I always believe in learning about each other is always a form of creating a bridge that brings us all closer together. So thank you all so much for the opportunity for allowing me to visit and allowing me to see it and observe. And it was such a peaceful experience, alhamdulillah. One of the things that is unique to Candy is bakeries. So because it's such a small city and you will see bakeries like every square inch. You will feel like that. You'll see a bakery here, bakery, bakery there, bakery, bakery there, there, bakery there, there, there everywhere. everywhere. I am very biased. I love bread. Like when I used to be a kid, we would go grocery shopping. Um, my mom would buy a baguette and from the grocery store to our house, I would have finished the entire thing plain. Like no butter, no jam, no nothing. So for me, bread is always my like, and my go-to. All right, now we've gotten another truck and it's gonna be taking us to the waterfall. I want to end this day, day two, with a beautiful nature scene. How far is it? Uh, about one hour, 50 minutes. An hour and 55 minutes. Yeah, we just round it up. Just say two. Yeah, we have half an hour extra to play with. Four hours, 32 minutes. We came this far. And hold on, do we go to the water? Is it get there, then walk for 45 minutes? You gotta be kidding me. Another set of stairs? This is not what I asked for. Oh, oh, come on, come on. We gotta cut at some point. Are you kidding me? No, I wanted this here. I didn't wanna go shoot up. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. But the journey to a Sri Lankan waterfall, the steps never end. Oh, we reached! Are we there? That's not even funny, man. That is not even funny. Oh, God. Oh, God! We're halfway there. Halfway? This is what we do for you. <laughs> the like button. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Smash the notification bell. Now let's get this waterfall. There's a deep, deeper part of him who wants to complete this journey. So you can see he's motivating the team. I've been in these situations. It's worth it in the end. It's always worth it. Exactly. Is this it? We're here? This is good. Fixing your exposure. Yeah, it's too exposed. Day three, Sri Lanka. Day three, Colombo. Uh, what's the name of the radio station we're going to? Uh -huh. 
Yes 101 Radio, MTV. Let's go, man. Oh. Ah, there she is. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. 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 Nice Sometimes we don't even know they're there because we just want to let them have that Sri Lankan experience, enjoy everything the way it is, and then if we can, we might approach you and then because we just uh, don't want to bother anybody. Nah, That's man, really what it's it is. all love. Yeah. It's all love. But that didn't happen <laughs> with Colin. That didn't. He Why? Mob. Mob. Like the star. Yeah. Like he's such a star. It was so difficult. I'm the love this man. Well, so I'm excited. Uh, Fifty seconds to rock and roll, you guys. The ones that are about bridging the gap. The ones that have immense love for food, among other things. Hey, this is the first biryani we've had on this video. Chicken biryani. This one magic. Magic biryani. We just had the biryani, and it was amazing. And really <laughs> connecting the planet one video at a time. He's here. Call it all a Mary. Wow. So how are you finding Lanka so far? Man, it's been the ultimate vibe for me uh, like i have never received a welcome like this you know like physically digitally and i haven't had the chance to really process it it means the world to me <clears throat> are you mm. going to go crash a sri lankan wedding <laughs> we are we're we are the real life wedding crashers you know we uh you know i just for me it's like what are things that are constant amongst all humanity regardless of your beliefs regardless of where you come from regardless of your demographic Everyone has a wedding or a celebration when two people come together. So for me, that's one of the ultimate places to learn about a culture. A uh, question from Anthony says, what do you like most about Sri Lanka? When I was speaking to people, I would ask them what gives them hope for the future of Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Sri Lanka's been through hard times. Yeah. Very, very hard times. Mm -hmm. Tsunami and, and all these things that have happened. All of them, Buddhist, Muslim, Christian, Hindu, whatever they were, when I said, well, when I asked them what gives them hope, they all said our unity. And you know something? I just want to thank you at this moment in time for yeah. doing this. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I've just landed in Mecca where I'm about to undertake Umrah, a pilgrimage for Muslims around the world. When I wake up, the first thing I do is I read the news. And it broke my heart to learn of the tragic explosions that are taking place in churches and hotels around Sri Lanka. On a day like today, Easter Sunday, which is such an important day for Christian communities around the world. At least a hundred have been confirmed dead and hundreds have been injured. The country is on a high state of alert and has implemented a curfew. I came to Mecca to strengthen my relationship with Allah, our God. Dude, I mean, I remember watching this and being like, wow. You're one of the few people out there who really, really, really you touched know. us, yeah. I mean, oh. it, the news that was yeah. coming in was so heavy. To this day, I remember like all those events that took place bit by bit. And when I saw that video, I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. This means so much to people in the island right now. And even looking back at that years later, it's like, you as an Emirati, my friend, you don't realize what you mean to this country at this Thank point. Thank you so much. For, first of all, I was getting goosebumps just remembering that moment. I remember that day so well. Yani. The Emirati I am is the Emirati that, that my leaders made me. It's the Emirati that my government made me. And then, you know, our leaders are leaders of kindness. They're leaders that have always, from Sheikh Zayed, our founding father, they've implemented, you know, always helping everyone when they need to help the most. And, and they're always being the first people to come to, to an, a, a nation's help, regardless of who they are, help. And I'm a, I'm a product of that. Again, right. thank you so much for doing <laughs> what you do, man. <laughs> always. Yeah. Can we get a round of applause? Much love, God bless. Set up. And boy, I thought it was going to be a, an interview where we just talk about like my time here. It was a roller coaster of emotions. 
tears, you know, the messages that came in from people. I, I, I can't process like this type of welcome and this type of love from the people, from the people. Event, Sri Lanka, meet and greet slash show slash event. We don't know what it is, let's go. It went from a meet and greet of 200 people to 1,600. Well, yeah, I'm just super excited, man. Sri Lanka, you are beautiful. What have you been dealing with the past few hours? Sound checks, light, curtain, music. Just in two days, you know, in two days, we fill the place with love and energy. We're gonna come in. Essentially, 1,600 people show up. We do a selfie with everyone. Assuming they have one minute, that's 1,600 minutes. That's 26 hours. I just want to say this trip has been blessed from the very beginning. Uh, thank you so much, Sri Lanka, for the warm welcome. Thank you so much, Nasser, and the entire team for putting this event together. May Allah bless this event with love, with joy, with happiness. May Allah bless everyone who came. May Allah bless all of us and all of our families and everything that we do, inshallah. Let's have a great event. Ameen. Yeah, let's go! His energy is just all peace and love. But without further ado, the humble, the peaceful, the Now I'm really loving. nervous. Yeah, All right, let's go. <laughs> Colin Salam alaikum Sri Lanka. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Thank you all so, so much. I have no idea what to do now. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to ask you what, which was the first video, do you remember, that really made you famous or you thought this video was called When Muslims Celebrate Christmas. Wait! <laughs> I know Muslims don't celebrate Christmas. I was just waiting for that one person. But Muslims don't celebrate... I know! It was about showing my country in a light that a lot of people didn't see. It was about showing how people who celebrate Christmas are free to celebrate in a Muslim country. It's about showing a mosque that was surrounded by four or five churches where they were all celebrating their Christmas as the Adhan was going off. I don't know, stuff like that warms my heart. That we can all coexist in a peaceful way. And that was the message of the video. And that was the first video that said, this work is important. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And you need that sign. Thank you. I just oh. want to say from the bottom of my heart, genuinely, we love you. When I just watch your videos, it literally brightens up my day. And I'm sure each and every one of us has had that experience. And, and you know, to be honest, on that point, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of life. And it's really because I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> but I can make a good video, alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyone who thought Sri Lanka was a quiet place, yo, one, two, three, let me hear it! What is up? Sri Lanka, we love you! Show on Sri Lanka done. Everyone got their selfies. Everyone got the show. I am beyond happy, beyond words. I've fallen in love with this place in three days. Sri Lanka, good afternoon, good morning, and good night. Guys, in case you're wondering, I'm putting the mic on. So we have to do it in privacy, because otherwise the whole world would things. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, sorry. He had to get the lens clean because of humidity. But today we are day four. We extended one day because we wanted to see more in Colombo. Uh, today we're going to go visit some sites. We're going to do a children's school. And we're going to visit the home of a Sri Lankan family to talk about Sri Lanka, to talk about more about the culture, and to see what family life is like here on the island. Alayhi salam. Salam, alhamdulillah. Oh, salam alaikum. How are you? Happy? Salam, how are you? Salam, how are you? So good to meet you all. Oh, the foster. 
I love it, mashallah. Thanks. Got the best gift. What you do for these kids is the best gift. Masha'Allah. We read your story and we had to come here. You are a gift to these kids and there will be dua for you for lifetimes, insha'Allah. God bless you. God bless everyone. Ameen, ameen. How are you all? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> if you look up there, they have a sign that says all, uh, they have a symbol for each of the type of people that are here. You know, they put the students in categories and they have the number of students that have each category of the abilities that they have. And this incredible woman has been dedicating her life, 20 years, yeah? 20 years. 20 years of her life she's been dedicating to this, these children, to this school, and making sure that you're raising funds by yourself. We saw that you got... It is you know, very rare uh, I've read a lot of to stories. Please, to get you down here. May Almighty Allah actually. Almighty Allah loves me so much. I never oh, thought that you would come. Allah, of course, we're here. We're here. Allah who sent you. We're here for you. We're here for you. Don't worry. Allah sees everything you do. We see everything you do. MashaAllah. These kids, the dua you're getting is forever, inshaAllah. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to see these amazing kids. Show the world your work. Almighty is the efforts. Inshallah. Inshallah, he will be. He knows best. He does. Alhamdulillah. Should we take a look around? Yes. We're going to take a tour and see where you all learn and study. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. So these are the, uh, the cooks. What's your name? Rihana. Rihana? Sanusa. Sanusa. And can you make... Kutu roti? Kutu roti, yes. You make it? Yes. <laughs> Here there's all some beautiful quotes. There is nothing there is nothing more beautiful than someone who goes out of their way to make life beautiful for others. And that's you. Alhamdulillah. my first volunteer who was helping me for last five years without a single cent. She wants to talk to you. How are you? <laughs> What's your name? She's crying. What's your name? Tashika. Tashika, you're on the video now. I want to tell everyone this was the first volunteer here at the center and she worked here for five years without taking a single cent. It is people like you that build hope for the future. Amen. You are the people. God bless you. Always. Well, I see everyone celebrating you here. Yalla, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> but everyone say goodbye. Yalla, bye. Say we love you. We love you. <laughs> bye. We have even in marriage. Oh, they have gotten married. Marriage. They were at the center? She's having her own kid. MashaAllah. So these, she was a student here? Yes. And now she has her family? Family. She's also like that. She's having two children, girl and a boy. And what was her condition? Uh, she's a slow learner. And okay. also, on and off, she gets fits. This is Walima. He is, she is deaf and dumb, and he's also deaf and dumb. Mm. Having all together three children. So these are. Um... <laughs> these are um, students who were here. She was at the center. She was deaf, and uh, they met. And he's also deaf, and they have three children now. Yeah. First one twins, girl and a boy. After that, a boy. Five, five. Who is there? If not, come here. Originals that we are having, we are a charitable organization under this government. So this is your government certification? Certification. This is from the police station they have recommended us and given us. 
book. These are all the students. Yeah? Yes, lack of sufficient space. We can't take them. I heard there were 700 on the waiting list. Yeah. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the waiting list. These are waiting lists. God bless you all with Allah all goodness, give you good you health, so long much. life, and more prosperity, inshallah. Amen. We all receive the highest rank in Jannah. You also, inshallah. Allah bless you, sister. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. We'll be back, inshallah. inshallah. We'll be back. Allah say bye. 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 Salam. Bye. Bye. Salam. Salam. Man. You know the part that choked me up, like when I was like about to lose, like, is when she started showing me uh, pictures of the students who were like married with families now. All I was picturing was Abdullah in that moment. That's all I was thinking about. Like, you know, like, the first thing like I thought about when Abdullah was diagnosed on the autism spectrum was what his, like, Where's he gonna work? Uh, will he get married? Will he have a family? Will he be able to just live a happy life? And yani, she showed me it's possible. Like she showed me, like I just, I, yani you see it in TV and movies and stuff like that, but she showed like real students who, who are, whether they're on the autism spectrum, diagnosed with uh, Down syndrome, Whatever diagnosis they had, they were living productive lives. That's why Sarama and I visit these type of centers anywhere we travel. Because to show you that if the resources are there, even the minimal resources that she has, people who donate their time and their energy can make these children create magic in the world. Six bomb attacks across three cities in Sri Lanka. There were three churches and three hotels uh, hit in the first wave of suicide bombings. Nearly 300 killed and at least 500 wounded in coordinated bombings in Sri Lanka. Three bombs detonate as police look for suspects. Heading east to Sunday Mass at St. Anthony's Church when a suicide bomb is struck. We are outside now St. Anna's Church, St. Anna Church, they also call it here in Sri Lanka. And if you remember, in 2019, there was a series of, of bomb blasts across Sri Lanka. And this was one of the churches that got hit. And in those bomb blasts across Sri Lanka, there were about 290 people who were killed and 500 injured. Um, a bit of history into that year, uh, why it's significant is 2019. That's when Sri Lanka was at the height of tourism, ranked one of the best places to visit. And with these bomb blasts, when they came, Obviously, there was a lot of harm done, a lot of damage done to the community um, in the very short term and when it happened, but also moving forward, it just did such a big damage to their economy because people were afraid. And that's what happens when uh, cowards and terrorists do these acts of destruction to destroy communities. They damage everyone. Uh, this is where he was. Huh? Oh, oh, this damage, damage. damage, though. Okay. These are the people who lost their lives on the 2019 bombing. Just wanted to come and showcase it as a symbol of strength for the Sri Lankan people. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. The tragedy that happened mm -hmm. in 2019 yeah. only strengthened the unity of Sri Lanka. Yes. What are your thoughts on what happened and what it did to the Sri Lankan people? Well, definitely brought every one of us together and like it strengthened the Christians and it also helped us to sort of understand one another and also religious harmony is imperative, it's important and I think that what happened on Easter Sunday for me I think is a constant reminder of religious harmony and how we must all be united 
and we must also most importantly respect each other's religions. We, we all believe in humanity as human beings. So that's what the most important thing is and then Sri Lankans are very uh, strong when it comes to brotherhood. So we, we don't hate each other for, for, for no reason. Like we love people, we, we want to live with people, we look after each other. That's how we overcame all the things that we had to face in, you know, during not only once, many times. Now why am I visiting a church in Sri Lanka? Because unfortunately the first video I ever made on Sri Lanka was about the Easter Sunday blasts. A horrible tragedy. And I visited here not to highlight disaster, there isn't, they've, they've, they've worked past that. But to show you the strength of a community. To show you that when cowards out there do awful things like that, they only make us stronger. They only unite the people even more. And that is what we saw today. A symbol of strength, a symbol of unity, and a symbol that no act of cowardice can break the bond and the love that exists between these incredible, incredible people. All right, we're here at the Patrakali, one of the major Hindu temples here in Colombo. Now, there's a significance around Hinduism, specifically here uh, in Sri Lanka. The, there was a 30-year war between the Senalese army and the Tamils, and the religion uh, of the Tamils is majority Hindu. So they play a major significance in this country and in this community. And now after the war, there is peace, there is unity between the people and seeing these temples all around Colombo is a sign of it. You're a priest here? Yes. A Hindu priest, yeah? And this is, you, this is the main area for the Hindus to come in. What's the, the name of this temple? Ganesh Temple. Ganesh Temple, yes. Yeah. Uh, temple is famous, uh, Atrakali. Atrakali, okay. And this is one of the main temples in Colombo? Yes. Okay. You're Tamil? Yep. Tamil, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like 3.30 right now. This main area of the temple opens at 5. So the priest was kind enough to let us just come in and film to show you all um, what the main area of a Hindu temple looks like here in Colombo. One of the main religions for the Tamil community here. So we are now going to the house of Kiara to have a traditional Sri Lankan meal. Uh, I love to visit a family's home in a country that I visit because I feel it gives you a really strong insight into the family uh, ties in the country and the culture of the country. All right, let's get this. Let's do right. There we are. Hi, the cameras are out. <laughs> we did salam alaikum. We didn't give you a chance to breathe. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, Good. alhamdulillah. Nice How's life? Nice to meet you. How are you? Yes, nice to meet you. What's up, Khalid? Nice to meet you. Hey, salam alaikum. Khalid, thank you for having me. We're super excited to be here. Thank you. For, it's a lovely home, mashallah. Thank you so much. Are your shoes on, shoes off? Are you you're sure? Thank you. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Wow, mashallah. Such a beautiful home. My uncle's house, but my parents built it before we moved to Dubai. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now you live here? Now we live here. Oh, yeah. wow. It's a family home now, where we all get together and have oh, sure. our family meals and celebrations. Right. So, hence why we thought we'll have you guys here. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. There's been a lot of hardships, but when we ask people like what gets you through it to persevere, whether that's through COVID, whether that's through the 2019 bombings, whether that's whatever it is, they all said it was the unity of the people. I think Sri Lankan people in general are quite resilient and we do always stick together, whether it's with family or friends, like even during COVID, everyone was always helping each other out. And you know, if someone's in trouble, we do our best to kind of step in and help them in whatever way we can. See, if you talk of the communities, Sri Lankans are quite united, majority of them. The problems arise probably with very, very small factions. I mean, from our small days, we have grown up with so many communities in our classes. 
Yeah. And maybe in our workplaces also we have so many communities, our friends are with so many communities. When you do visit Sri Lanka for the first time, you do fall in love and you you definitely come back. Kiara said uh, something very interesting that I'll keep coming back. Oh, uh, yep. She was right. Now we eat. <laughs> oh, the grand entrance. Let's go. Saffron rice with fried Saffron onions. Saffron rice with onions and cashew nuts. Oh. It looks delicious, just mashallah. Here, so. I just said, this is a traditional Sri Lankan dish. What you will find in most homes, from the fried fish to the rice to the curry. And it was absolutely delicious. My hat's off to the chef. It was a combined <laughs> My hat's off to the team. Team, team effort. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for welcoming thank us. You. Like wherever we travel to highlight a family, because that's how you build a human connection. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so thank you much. So much. Thank, you. thank you. It was lovely it was to meet so you. Nice Take care, you. All right. All the best. Yes, thank you, you so much time. for having so us. Much for taking the Assalamu time. alaikum. What can I say about this trip? Is you know whenever you create your bucket list of places you want to visit, just to see the natural beauty or experience something incredible and you leave with memories. But when you come to this country, this beautiful, beautiful country, you will leave with all of that, plus a lesson, an inner strength that you can carry on for the rest of your life. So what I've learned the most here is no matter what we are going through, no matter what challenges we face, if we show up for ourselves and we show up for each other, we can get through anything. There is no challenge too big and no obstacle we cannot overcome and the Sri Lankan people have showed us that every single day from the team and I thank you so much Sri Lanka for the beautiful welcome for the hospitality I love you and I will not say goodbye but see you soon much love and God bless and that's a This is Sri Lanka. We go! Love you, Sri Lanka! Let's go! <laughs>